So I do have a, a very personal <laughs> story. We're all having confessions. I'm ready. Ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> this is so good. Any place. And this stays, this stays with me all the time. Mm -hmm. Cone of silence right, right. here. Right. <laughs> so I would say 12 to 15 years ago, mm -hmm. um, I was, in, my husband and I were doing some interviews in a very prominent home in Beverly Hills. The governor was there, a uh, lot of uh, sheriff type people, a lot of um, political type people were there. And I was just kind of staying out of the way. They were all outside, you know, gathering and stuff. And I was just kind of hanging back with Matt and he was glad handing, you know, the few, but we were shooting television. So I just kind of sta yeah. staying back. So I was sitting in the living room kind of by myself because I wasn't really into anything. And I was sitting there and this woman walked in the door, and a lot of you would know who this woman was. She's, 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 uh, her, you would know who she was. And um, she walked into the living room, and I just looked up, and I said, hi, how are you? And I just got up real sweet and shook her hand, and when she took my hand, she just squeezed oh, wow. my hand really hard. And she just looked at me, and she said, aren't you one of those people from TVN? Mm. And she just had my hand in a grip, and I was like, well. <laughs> <laughs> I said, um, I said, that is my family, but at the time we didn't work for TVN. And she just took my hand, she said, what are you doing here? And she just threw my hand out of her hand, and I was wow. so shocked. Yeah. Wow. And I was, I mean, I was just totally shocked, and someone walked in, and she just gracefully turned around and walked out of the room, and I was just, hmm. I just couldn't believe yeah. that someone would have done that, you know, and I thought, and she did it to me, and I was being so nice. You're, the, <laughs> you're definitely the same to her. Yeah, seriously. Angel. I can see someone doing that to Holly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, man. You. Okay. Yeah. And it just shocked me, you know, and so um, the next the next day, we were uh, at church and went out with our pastors, and I'm telling them about this woman, and I'm still just so shocked that this woman did that to me. And I was hurt, and I went to mm. sleep that night, and I thought, oh, yeah. man, I just, I just need to pray for this lady. You know, so I started praying for her. What a Christian. <laughs> wow. I know, wow. <laughs> and I'll never forget, I'm telling my pastor's wife, and my pastor's sitting there, and I'm just, and he just, so in such a gentle, sweet manner, he not even look at me. He said, well, he said, it's amazing what the Lord will allow to get you over yourself. <gasps> oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. I know I can't get mad at you. <laughs> you know, but that has wow. stuck with me. So when things happen to me, when things happen, when people say things um, to me, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. That, okay, check. Straighten up, mm. check. Yes. It's amazing because they can't do that without God allowing something mm. right. to, to be said. And so I think receiving tough love, that's great. you have to check yourself and you can't get mad. You have to go, okay, now was that, for me to really take in into right. my heart and receive, or was that just ugly? Yeah, right, right, right. You know, and yeah. mean. But I think um, I don't know. It it kind of changed. It's always stuck with me when stuff happens. It's like, well, it's amazing what the Lord will allow to get over itself. No, <laughs> you know. Right. Hi, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's a whole lot more. You can subscribe, and let's get better together.